I just destroyed half my body and half my house to illustrate a point that I probably could have just told you on camera. Lighting is super important. So today, we're looking at how to set up lighting for your YouTube videos and how you can do it for under 100 bucks. Let's go. First off, let's look at a couple lighting options that you can buy depending on your budget. If you want to go more high end and advanced, I've got the newer, newer, newer something or other, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'll put it in the description below. Behind me, these guys are 900 LED light bulbs. They have crazy brightness. You can turn them all the way up or adjust them accordingly, which is a good feature. You are getting what you pay for. However, these lights will run you about a hundred bucks per light. If you want to go a little bit cheaper, but still really effective, we've got the soft box set for only about 60 bucks, which is crazy. Two soft boxes that you can remove the actual soft box from so you can get a hard light or a soft light for 60 bucks seems like a no brainer. On the even cheaper end, we've got the Viltrox panel light. It works off a battery. It's super small, super thin, super light, but really powerful. So it's a great light for setting up in your studio at home or even taking with you on the road. It's a beauty and you should have one. The last thing is the Aperture M9. And I said that you should have the Viltrox light, but if you're gonna get just one light, make it the Aperture M9. The thing's the size of a credit card, so you can put it in your bag, you can put it in your pocket, take it with you. And it's even a great option for a studio or like a fill light or a key light behind you. Definitely something worth picking up. So now that we've gone through the actual lights, you can mix and match different ones depending on your budget, depending on your needs, and you can create a lighting setup that's gonna work perfectly for your vlogs, for your intros, for interviews, everything. And that's all gonna be done using the three-point lighting system. The three-point lighting system is very straightforward. You've got your key light, nice and close, very bright, right on the subject. You've got your fill light, which is a little bit further away or dimmer depending on your lighting setup. And then you've got your backlight or hair light to add like a nice glow around the edges of the subject just to make them pop out a little bit from the background. Now, a three lighting setup isn't always available to everyone, which is why I have the budget options. Personally, what I would go with is the two soft boxes and maybe the aperture or the Viltrox light as your hair light. It's small, you can keep it out of the way, and it's still really powerful. The thing is, the two, those two smaller lights are a little bit more harsh, so the soft boxes would be better focused on like the front of you, whereas those ones behind the back making a nice hard edge, as you can see right here, would be ideal. So depending on your needs and your budget, there's definitely a solution for everyone. You can mix and match and combine lights and find out what works best for you. If you have any other questions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. And hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, subscribe or hit that like button. Maybe even turn on notifications so I can catch you in the next one. Later, guys. Uh, nobody turn off the lights so I don't kill myself again. Jesus.